Okay, we're joined now by UC Davis coach Jennifer Gross and student athlete Evan Turner. Coach, if you would please start us off with some opening comments. Sure. Um, first of all, congratulations to UC Irvine. Um, having a chance to represent the Big West in the, the NCAA tournament, uh, we wish them the very best. Um, but I will uh, turn it back to my team right now. Um, it's been a really amazing week. Uh, it's been an incredible ride uh, throughout the season. Sometimes things don't go your way. The ball doesn't you know, bounce the way you hope for. Um, and as a coach, all you can ask for is that your team pours into each other, gives everything that they have inside of them, competes together, stays together through the ups and downs. I can't ask any more from our team. I'm so incredibly proud of every single person in our locker room. Um, for us, I told our team this, the, the, the championship, the ring, that's the icing on the cake, right? The real, it's real, what it's really about is the journey and the growth and um, how, you know, the relationships that we build with each other that are gonna last, you know, well into the future. And uh, we were 100% successful in all those areas. So I just, I'm super proud of my team. And uh, yeah, uh, I was, I, I'm, we're all full of heartache because we wanted to be the ones on the ladders uh, today cutting down the net. So I feel so bad for our players, but um, I'm still extremely prideful uh, of the team that we, that we became this year. Questions in the room? And that's that's the way it's been set up here yeah. in the in the in the Big West with the with the buy, double buy and the single buy. It seemed it, it, you played tremendous defense to get back in that game in the second quarter. But yeah. defense, as you know, really takes takes its toll on you. Well, I will say, Bob, all week knowing that we were going to have to win four in four days, our theme was no excuses. So. Um, I thought our team did a tremendous job of not looking for reasons why, you know, we just battled, we battled and credit to Irvine. They came out in the, you know, after we had caught back up and gained the momentum, uh, they came back out after the second half and really put another run on us. And we just, uh, couldn't quite, uh, stand up to that one, you know? Um, but yeah, I thought, uh, our defense was incredible throughout the tournament, um, we needed a few more shots to go today to just kind of keep it close. You know, I thought if we, if we could stay in it and keep it close, uh, we could we could be there at the end. Just just didn't get the bounces today. Jen, to your left is one of the best players ever to suit it up for UC Davis. Can you talk about Evan just a little bit, please? Um, go for it, Jeff. I want to hear your story. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> You know Coach Soaker, I just was telling our team that uh, his wife Donna texted me this morning wishing us luck. And um, when I, when we talk about Aggie pride, which is something that Coach Soaker was all about, um, it means different, pe different things to different people, but this one right here epitomizes it. Um, she is one of the toughest competitors. I, I, I mean, probably the toughest competitor we've ever had in this program. A couple other people, CC might have a problem with that, but um, just never, ever backs down from a challenge, is always ready for the moment. I thought this year in particular, we needed her to take a little bit of a different role and not only wear a scoring hat, but also be a playmaker for us. She did that with a smile, with excitement, ready to get her teammates involved. Um, I'll just tell you what, Every day that we suited up and we're going uh, and we're, we're playing a game, I know that I feel a whole heck of a lot better knowing that Evan Turner's on our team um, because she's going to battle every second of every game. Most of the games, I, I just couldn't take her off the floor because the, every, you know, she just brought so much energy uh, to the court. Her teammates will tell you she makes the game fun. It's not just about the competitiveness. They love playing with her because she's so much fun to play with. She brings joy. Um, she's one of those players that we will talk about for many, many years in our program uh, about the right way to compete, um, how to be, how to lead a team, how to be ready for the big moments. Um, so as 
Joe likes to say and our staff likes to say, tradition never graduates. Okay, while players graduate, they always leave something behind. Um, and Evan will leave a lot, uh, you know, for her teammates. And, and Evan, to you, I know there's a lot going through your mind right now, a lot of emotions, obviously. Can you just share with us what you're, you're feeling right now? Um, honestly, like, you know, there's, like, the, the easy ones to talk about, you know, a little sad, a little angry, like, wish you can have some more time. But I think the biggest thing is that I'm feeling right now is hope. Uh, and I might be leaving, but I know that that group of girls is going to get it done next year. Like, I said it in the locker room at the end of the game. I don't think I cried much. I just said, hey, you know what? We didn't do it this year, but y'all got it this year. We have a player of the year on our team. We have one of the best post players in the league. We have the best shooters, like, period. Like, no shades in the other team. Like, there's a lot of good girls in the conference. Respect to everybody out there. Everybody has game in the conference or else we wouldn't have a tournament like we do. But I know the team that I played for right now, those girls that are coming back next year, are fierce. There's like so. There's a lot of hope. Like I know everybody. Nobody would expect me to say hope, but uh, I said hope. So forget you. <laughs> Can you share with us what your Aggie career meant to you? Um, honestly, it meant a lot. I knew um, in 2019 when I when I called Coach Jen on the phone, I called her back. I was like, Hey, I want to come here. I the second I got I like left my official visit. I wanted to commit right then and there. Um, my parents made me wait. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But I wanted to commit right then and there. But my career, as much as people like to look at my stats and stuff, it's about all my friends and family that I've gained. Um, I don't even call anybody a friend anymore. They're all sisters. And I don't know how, to, how I'm going to pick bridesmaids because there's so many. But my career is based off of, like, all of all the sisters that I've gained over this journey. Like, everybody loves the stats and stuff. It looks good to say this or that about me. And don't get me wrong. I wouldn't – I appreciate all that. Um, but I wouldn't be there without all of them supporting me and helping me through that journey. Thank you. Um, Jen, it's also the, the last game for, for Campbell Gray and Lena's fan home, who's the only PhD student in Division I college basketball. So can you speak to what Lena and Campbell have meant to the program? Yeah, these three seniors have been incredible. Um, I just told Evan this, but obviously um, there wasn't a lot of, of good that came out of COVID, right? But the one really good part for us was we got to have extra time with these three seniors. Um, Campbell Gray, I don't think anybody knows what she's been through, her body's been through. She had a, a really terrible injury where she pretty much destroyed her knee and took about a year and a half to come back and has been playing through pain ever since. Um, even there's practices where I can tell how much pain she's in and she's still like, I, have, I wanna be there with my team. I need to be on the court. And she just pushes through. Um, She's such a glue person for our team in the locker room. Everybody knows they can go to her uh, if they need anything, whether it's calling if they need a, a, a jumper cable or whether it's they need a pep talk, you know, because they're feeling down. She's that kind of a teammate. Um, we're going to really miss her. Uh, on the court, just her vision and her playmaking. I mean, she's, uh, she's one of the most incredible passers we've seen at UC Davis. Um, Lena. Oh, man, yes, only PhD student in the country. Um, if you went down the line and asked every single person in our locker room to say one word about Lena, it's discipline, it's work ethic, it's um, resiliency. She's maybe the, I mean, we have people that work hard in different ways, but she is so consistent. Every day at, she is there before practice. I mean, it's like the cliche, the first one to come, the last one to leave. You know, Evan's in there a lot too. But uh, she just, she's, she doesn't stop. She just always wants to get better. And that's every, every part of her life. That's in basketball, that's with her academics, that's with her relationships. Um, she's just one of the kindest, most wonderful teammates that we've ever had the, the opportunity to coach. And, I want to thank all three of them for all of their contributions. Um, if we are fortunate to win that uh, to win that championship again in the future, these guys will be a big reason why. Because uh, you can't do you can't achieve the next goal without achieving the the first one. And being able to come here and compete and you know win three games and get ourselves to this tournament championship um, wasn't easy. Wasn't easy. We. We had to have a championship mentality, and, and the three seniors in particular, with along with others. And I thought Tova played an amazing tournament. Mozzie was incredible. Um, we had different people step up every day, and that's been 
what our team has been all year. Anything else? Coach, Evan, we appreciate your time all week. Thanks a lot. Thank you.